Hey YouTube, it's Felicia with Bible Scraps and welcome to my annual haul video celebrating Black history with products and purchases from Target, Joann's, Michael's, and I think I got a sprinkling. Will Walmart be in this video? I might have a little bit of something something from other stores as well. We shall see. Now, I've already finished this video and I'm going to share part one and parts two separately. So make sure you check out both parts. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and why not grab a cup of coffee, a cup of tea? Why not grab a green drink like I love those and sit down and enjoy. All right. I want to thank you all for watching and black history right, to all. all. Let's get started. Okay. I've had this bag. Oh, I might just be everywhere. I don't have it. It's been a couple weeks. Okay. Let me start with, I'm going to start with Target. Thankfully, Target continues to have their black history um, clothing. And when they have it on display, they have it front and center, at least at the stores I visited. It's always in the front. You don't have, it's truly a celebration, right? It's not hidden. You don't have to hunt it down. And they work with different designers. And um, I really, I really didn't see any clothing items that I was interested in from the Black History line. However, oh, I did get, well, I picked up two clothing articles. They were not in the Black History section, but they definitely pertain to Black History. And check out this one here. I have yet to wear this. I love it, but I should have got, I didn't try it on. I think it might be sold out now. But I was wondering if I should have got the large. I mean, it fits. But you guys, the black Barbie. Look at that. Ah! So you have, it's multicultural. But look at all of the women of color. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, I don't know if this came out this year or last year. You know, let's look at the tag and see if there's a year okay um i i don't see a year but anyway i fell in love with this look at this look at all the puffy hair the afro this big old puff ball i and the ball head i love it all <laughs> and don't we love barbie and when the black barbies came out growing up oh my it was must have i didn't really play with Barbie dolls. My cousin, she did, but a lover of Barbie dolls. What I didn't see and what I picked up last year, I think, okay, I got two of the Black History Barbie dolls, and now I forget the names. I think I picked up Ida B. Wells and Maya Angelou. I didn't see, well, I need to check to see if there's any new releases historical figures that is okay um i did get another clothing article but i'm going to share that piece of article oh i'm excited about that i'm going to share it with the larger collection it's a whole theme so i'll come back i'll share that in a different segment but outside of that clothing article and this one that was all i picked up from target this year Alrighty, now from what bag is this? I grabbed the wrong bag. Okay, let's get to Joann's. I okay, I don't know if Joann's, I mean Michaels. Did I say Joann's? Let's get to Michaels. I don't know if Michaels downsized their products for Black History this year, or perhaps items still need to come in i do know with their christmas wrap i shared some black christmas wrap from michael's i shared it after christmas well i learned that it came in after christmas and that explains why michael's had so much 
after Christmas because it the shipment came in late. Now, um, I have been popping in and out of Michael's before February, checking on the Black History items. And it's just, it's very little available. And what is available, and I'm going to share these pieces, they're repeat items. See, this says April of 2022. And if you guys missed out on these very thick wood plaques, and I love this one, Michaels have them again this year, including this one here. Love, love, love her. And it's dated March of last year. The Black History display area was pretty much outside of t-shirts. It was pretty much empty. I mean, there were some different things here and there for the kids. Like, for instance, let's see here. I don't have it in this bag. But, um, the, what do you call that? Oh, I'll grab it. The pom-poms and that long... Oh, I can't think of what it's called, but it just wasn't a lot available. And I'm wondering if some of the shirts were repeats too. I do. Oh, what they did have, they, if you love to paint with the canvas, they did have some of those out and those were new. I did watch Michael's African-American, like their release video working with the artist, but it just wasn't a whole lot. And when I say not a whole lot, on the side of the display area, it was all empty. And at one point, I saw the tags hanging at one of my stores there. So I thought, okay, they're going to bring out new items. But as of this date, they have yet to do it. So I don't know what's going on with that. So wasn't a whole lot available at Michael's. And the bags that they had, the shopping bags that they had last year... Well, it's the same ones they have this year, which is this design here, which I was disappointed in that because I do collect these bags and I think this is the third year that Michaels have offered a Black History um, products and they've had different bags every year, except for this year, it's the same old bag. So I'm not going to pick up any more of these because I picked up my fair share last year. And remember last year, if you caught my, my haul video, there was ribbon and different widths. There was um, fabric. There was stickers and a lot of things offered for the classroom that we could incorporate in our own crafting. And they just didn't, they don't have it this year. So that was disappointing. But if you missed it last year, you have a chance to get it this year. Okay, let me grab, because I am missing some items. No, you all, I think that's all I got from, all I got from Michaels. So I didn't get a lot from Target this year. I didn't get a lot from Michaels. But let's check out Joann's because like Target and Michaels, I believe the move to celebrate black history in this fashion by these different companies, it's all a result of um, number one, it's long overdue, but I do believe what happened to George Floyd and the Black Lives Matter movement, it really ushered in this new era that that we're experiencing, walking into these stores and seeing representation as a crafter. You guys, I, I'm still excited about that. And I fear, though, that once all the, the hype, the hype mellows, out and then this will eventually stop i hope not right so let's talk about joanne because joanne's have been coming with the fabric 
Joann's did not have as much this year either. And then I just remembered too, I have to come back to Walmart because I got something so cute <laughs> from Walmart. Okay, Joann's um, had more in previous years. They also offered in previous years ribbon. They had African beads and they had um, stickers and some other things. This year, I was only able to find the fabric. Love it that they have, and they still offer African American fabric. Now, this one I'm going to share. I don't know if this is new this year. I probably have it if it's not new, but I'm going to share it anyway. It looks new to me. So for this is the third year they have come out with new new fabric featuring African Americans and take a look at this look at the people and you have the black man and different ones too <laughs> love 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 it <laughs> you guys know it's been difficult impossible really to walk into a store and find people of color on fabric but like I stated you can let's get a little closer here and I mean I love that you can make pillows you can make bags you can make aprons now this one here I think this one Okay, I don't know when this came out, but it's new to me. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, this is so... I love her. I love her. Look at this fabric, you all. Look at the gold foiling. Look at the hairdo. The colors. This is absolutely beautiful. And when I see fabric like this, I think of die cuts, too. You can fussy cut out the image add it to a journal you know I have more of this in my cart for some reason I don't know if this is the one that's last chance it could be but this one was marked down um, I think the regular price might be $15, $16 a yard but I, I want to say I probably got it for like 4 bucks a yard and shame on me for not ordering more of this. But just look how beautiful that is. And look at that gold foiling. Yeah, that's some that's some good stuff. Okay. I do have more fabric from Joann's. And I just feel like I'm missing out on some things. Okay, I haven't even opened up these, these bags yet. So let's get to it. You can place... You can order online and pick up in store. I recommend that you do that because Joann's will hold your items for at least three days. You can call in to extend the time to pick up if need be. But if you order it online and pick up in the store, well, if you're concerned about items selling out, you don't have to worry about that. And if you can't make it to the store, you just have them hold it for you. And then you can use that additional 20 or 25% off coupon. And that's even on sale items. Joann's really don't have that coupon to use in the store. I mean, every now and again, they might have that additional coupon you can use. But it's it's been more so for pickup items. So you save extra money. Okay, I have yet to look at these items because I'm just pulling this out of the bag oh now I do believe this is new this year look at that oh my goodness this remind me of my daughter doing her hair you know it's focused on the different hairstyles from the back and I I couldn't see this these beautiful designs via screen Oh my, and it's the back of the little girl's hair. This is so reminiscent of how 
we wore our hair growing up, the the girls in my family, and how I styled my daughter's hair. Oh my goodness, I love this. Oh, <laughs> just imagine using this to make pillows for your daughters, your granddaughters, your nieces, your goddaughters, your friends, someone in church for her birthday. Oh my goodness, we didn't have this growing up. So I'm reliving my childhood too. <laughs> because growing up, I never seen, well, as an adult, I had never seen anything like this up until these stores began to offer it. Okay, check out this next one. Let's see it for the first time. Oh my goodness. This one, I believe, is new this year. Look at it, you all. Brown is my favorite color. And look at the hairdos. Oh my goodness, this is so pretty. Look at the puff balls. Ah, I love it. <laughs> now this artist's name is Shay Anthony. Mm, 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 mm. I experienced, well, I have been experiencing problems with Joanne's website. Sometimes the order don't go through. Sometimes, like, it'll show that an item is in stock at my store. And then I'll get that email. It wasn't in stock. And then I'll go back and place another order and it's in stock. So I don't know what's going on with their site. But you might have to play around with it. Okay, look. I don't know how that happened. But obviously I forgot <laughs> that I ordered this. I set the bag aside. And then ordered it again. Okay, so there you go. <laughs> oh, if you guys are interested in the fabrics from the first year. So was that 2020? When Joanne's offered. I have videos because every year I've been sharing hauls, what I pick up. Some of those fabrics, and it could be from last year too, it's last chance. Once it's gone, it's gone. So if you want it. Well, you want to you wanna get it now. Okay, and then here's another bag. I'm opening this up. Mm, this is so beautiful. Oh. Okay, this one here. Oh, and I love this one too, you guys. Look at the pick, the Afro pick. Oh, this is so yesteryear. <laughs> You know what? Okay, no. I think I shared it last year. I purchased an authentic yesteryear Afro pick still in the packaging. <laughs> but look at the different flowers. Oh, I love how the Afro pick here is modernized with the look of today. Look how pretty that is. Love, love, love it. Now, these prints might be available. Same design, different background color. Okay, and then got this bag. And now I'm curious. I have to go back to the website to see if, well, I know I didn't order everything because some items was not available in stock. Now this here, this is older. Do you guys remember Vintage Simplicity? I probably picked up some of this fabric before, but I think it was last chance. So I figured, why not get another yard? But, <clears throat> excuse me, take a look at the two black women there. Once again, I look at these and I see die cuts and I see how you can just cut out a square or a rectangle and use that on a journal page. You can use it on a card. You can decoupage with it. So I love the patterns that can be made into die cuts. Like these two, I can just cut out the square and add that down on a card or a tag. But then I love the ones that are more busy too. I mean, I love them all. What can I say? Was that my last piece? You guys, that was... Oh, no, no. Here's this one here. Okay, I thought this one was different. I think this one, too, is last chance. 
But this is so different. This is so pretty to me. Look at that. Let's open this up. This is beautiful to me. I don't know who the illustrator. Let's see if there's a name. It's called Electric Paradise by Tara Reed. And this is so pretty. My first time seeing this was when I placed the order. So I don't know how new it is. But I think this one was last chance. I could be wrong. But this is beautiful. And I love how her lipstick matches the flowers. So, so, so pretty. Okay, let me share the bags, the Black History bags that Joann's still have available right now. But about now, the stores are probably getting low on inventory. And you guys, you can place an online order as well. So keep that in mind. But take a look. I love it that Joann's came out with new bags. And take a look at this it one. It says power, solidarity, resilience, and equality. And you have your, your men and women. And on both sides. I love, love, love it. <laughs> and then they didn't stop there. No, they didn't. Take a look at this one. Love, love, love this one because it has some historical... Um, black figures on it so it's educational it has Harriet Tubman Mary Bethune Rosa Parks Madam J CJ Walker George Washington Carver love 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 it and on both sides and they didn't stop there because well, they offered that same bag in a smaller version. And you guys, as of right now, today, it's February the 15th. You can get these bags 40% off. So I actually picked up some when they were not. You can always use the individual coupons. Some items, and this is rare for me, some items... I just grab and don't use the coupons because I don't want to forget and not pick it up. Okay, I'm looking for a journal. Y'all, let's pause for the cause and let's just chat. Let's just talk. I love to celebrate black history. I call it a crafter's way. But let's just spend a moment and talk about some real black history. Starting with... Amendment 13. I know it's been a while since many of us have been in school, but thank God for the internet. Thank God for Google. You know, we, we're without excuse. We have a wealth of information at our fingertips. But I want to read this. This is beautiful to me. Amendment 13, Section 1. And it reads, Neither slavery nor involuntary servitude except as punishment for crime, whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States or any place subject to their jurisdiction. What I just read was the abolishment of slavery. Now, it didn't abolish all slavery, just those states, a part of the Confederate. And in reality, it would take many years before slavery was actually abolished. But people to have this amendment, I wonder how the enslaved people felt when they got word that they were free. Free after hundreds of years of being chattel of being property, inferior, beaten, raped, separated from parents, children, husbands, and wives, being hanged. They got word that slavery was abolished and they were free. Do anybody need to be set free from anything today? 
Do anybody need to be set free from a relationship? A job? A circumstance? Do anybody need freedom? Perhaps you need to be freed from jail. I don't know. But I wonder how the enslaved people felt. And people, this wasn't, this wasn't too long ago. I know it seems like a lifetime ago, but this, this wasn't that long ago. If you talk to your parents, depending on how old you are, or your grandparents, or great-grandparents, if you have great-great-grandparents. But like for me, my mom, she's been deceased for 30 years, but like my aunts, they, they didn't live through some stuff, right? They lived through the days of picking cotton, picking grapes, picking whatever. My grandma who passed away almost two years ago, she was 90, she talked about, she come from a large family, a lot of siblings. And uh, if memory serves me correct, while she was a young woman, she was next to the eldest. Um, her younger brother, who was 14 at the time, and I forget how old my, my grandma was, but this happened decades ago, well, she often talked about how he was shot, shot by a white man. She lived through the days, days that we don't see today. She, it was real to her. No, she, she wasn't enslaved, but coming off the heels of slavery, the discrimination, the racism, the injustice, people, that wasn't too long ago. And for those of us who did not live in that era, there's a, a phrase or something. If you don't know your history, you're bound to repeat it. And maybe I didn't, I didn't state that correctly. And that's not the point I wanted to make. The point I want to make is it's good to reflect. It's good to know a little something, something about the way things used to be. Because I reflect and I think about those times. And you know what? It keeps a praise in my spirit. Because it didn't have to be. I'm sitting here doing what I am doing. Living the life that I am living. Enjoying my freedoms. Because of the, vi the vision. The faith. The whips. The hangings. The murders. The rapes. The faith that my ancestors and my people had, I'm living off their dream. They lived a nightmare so I could have a dream. They believed. And I want to talk about belief today, which is why I have the Bible right here. Because I don't know how the enslaved people or any people make it through such tragedy and atrocity. And the enslaved people, though many could not read, most could not read. They definitely could not read the Bible. They had a faith within their spirit. Many of them listened to the, the preaching. Though they couldn't read, they were taught. But even without being taught, they had a faith, an innate, intrinsic faith that that life, that type of life was not God's best for them. That they were loved by God, though they were enslaved from the scripture. Innately, they knew, no, this is not just. God loves me, and one day I'm going to be free. And, and many of them never saw that day of freedom. Their descendants, their posterity would see it like myself. But they had a fight of faith within them that they took to the grave. Lord, that's the kind of faith I want to have. Being beaten, being hanged, being raped, being separated from mama, daddy, brother, sister, children. But they still had a faith in their God that couldn't be beaten away. And the very Bible that was used to, ens to enslave them turned around and set them free. Do anybody need to be free 
from something. Do you need freedom? If you need freedom, you can find it in Christ Jesus. The same faith that they had. You and I, we are living off the, the steam, that fire of their faith. Thank God today is what it is today. I often talk about, and probably for a long time, people, right? For a long time, I'm going to talk about being grateful to be able to walk into Joann's and Michael's and Target and as a paper crafter, find scrapbooking, uh, like whatever it may be. Um, when Target had Capital Chic, I was so excited because in all my almost 20 years of crafting, I've been shopping at Michael's faithfully and never walked in and found anything crafty with a black person on it. And then Michael's brought in Capital Chic. That was a change gamer right history in the making and history is still being made today but it's all because the spirit of the enslaved people and God using men and women to enact laws to see the injustice the in inhumanity of slavery and we have amendment 13 the abolishment of slavery. I'm here to tell you that Jesus, he abolished the slavery of sin. We don't have to give in to our flesh, people. Let me read some scriptures to you all. I got several right here. And darn it, okay, let me pull up real fast. I don't know why my laptop, it's not overheating. The fan is on. Successful. But I want to read some scriptures about the yoke of slavery. If I'm everywhere, I don't even know where I got them. Okay, so let me just read this. Gal Galatians 3 and 28. There is neither Jew nor Gentile, neither slave nor free, nor is there male and female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. God has no respect of persons. And he never really did. Though he had his people, the Hebrews, right? If you loved God and you obeyed God, I don't care where you were from, what language you spoke, you became part of the family by your mere faith. Just look at the genealogy of Christ Jesus. There are some prostitutes, some, some pagans. They come from pagan lands part of his ancestry God has no respect of person uh, let's see here are okay I don't have those scriptures there either well let's read Galatians 5 and 1 it is for freedom that Christ has set us free stand firm then and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery Hmm. Christ has set us free and we can be set free from anything we are going through. There is freedom in Christ. He don't have us chained up. And through the cross, through confession and the redemption, through forgiveness, we don't have to become entangled to what Christ has set us free from. And we can be set free from what we have yet to be set free from. No matter what that is, people. A relationship. It could be a wayward lifestyle. It could be um, a number of different things. But if God has set you free from something, it could be false religion. It could be drinking, pornography, cuss words, you know, speaking cuss words. It could be gluttony. No matter what it is. Don't allow yourselves to be burdened again by it. Don't become ensnared and entangled. For me, it's about staying in the word of God. It's about staying on my knees. 
we have choice and we have the power to choose. We have been set free. And though the devil is there to in, to to allure us, right? To deceive us, to draw us in. We have power in Christ Jesus. Yes, we may need to fight people. We may need to fast. We may, may need to offer supplication. You might need counseling. Lord never said life will be easy. But I do believe that God has power in his spirit. And there's power in his presence if you find yourself in his presence. To overcome whatever it is you need to overcome. Because we are free in Christ Jesus. We are no longer bound. Bound by lustful thoughts and feelings. Bound by illicit powers and notions. No, we are we, we're free. Christ has set us free. Have you been set free though? Is Christ your Lord and Savior? You can't be set free if he's not your Lord and Savior. Galatians 5 and 13 states, For you are called to freedom, brothers. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. I love it because we are free. There's another scripture that talks about we could pretty much do whatever we want to do, right? And what is that scripture? Oh my goodness, my mind is like everywhere. What is that scripture? It's going to come to me after this video. You guys, I'm tired. I'm ready to take a nap. I was going to go out and go for a jog, but I might take a quick nap first. But anyway, because we have freedom in Christ, because um, the Lord, he's diplomatic. He's not a tyrant. We have the freedom to make choices and do what we want to do, whether it's good or bad. We have our own willpower, even freedom to believe or not to believe. Yeah, we have that freedom. We have freedom to obey and freedom not to obey. But we're not supposed to use our freedom as an opportunity for the flesh. I'm talking to Christians now. We serve God out of love and we know there's freedom of forgiveness in God. There's grace in God. We know that we can repent. See, serving God brings certain benefits and it gives us an assurance and a peace of mind and all that calculates to mean freedom. But because we have that freedom in Christ, that don't mean that we engage, we take advantage of the freedom we have in Christ. The truth is there's consequences. Though we can still have God's love despite of the mistakes that we make, though we can still be saved, though we can still go to heaven and receive salvation, it's not without consequence if we use our freedom in a way that does not honor God. We are called to use that freedom to serve God and to serve and love one another. Hmm. That scripture I couldn't remember. It's actually 1 Corinthians 6 and 12. And Paul states, I have the right to do anything you say. But not everything is beneficial. I have the right to do anything. But I will not be mastered by anything. So Paul is stating, you know, I have the right to do anything. But not everything is right to do. I have the right to do anything, but I'm not going to be mastered. I'm not going to become slaves to anything. And you got to be careful because if, you, if you're doing something and it's not the right thing to do, you can become enslaved to it. You can become hooked. The number of people who thought they can handle the drugs and now they, they became hooked by or hooked on the drugs and they were mastered by the drugs. They became slaves to the drugs. Do anything to get that high. So just because we have freedom, do that mean you should smoke marijuana? Because you have the freedom now to do so? Because the law says it's okay? Hmm. You got the freedom to smoke, but should you smoke? 
You got the freedom to drink, but should should you drink? You got the freedom to do whatever you want to do, but should you do those things? This is a little side note. I love a peanut brittle. I got this from Costco a couple weeks ago and was just at Costco and forgot to see if they if they had more. When I first started to eat it, I'm like, okay, this is not the traditional peanut brittle. But I took a liking to it and my husband, he's been eating it. We got a little bit left now. This is some good stuff. I hope they hope they have it. I'm going to pick up a couple boxes if they do. <laughs> but anyway, you all, to sum this up, I thank God for the abolishment of slavery. I thank God that today I can live a life of peace I can live a life of prosperity. I can live in safety. I I can live in love. I can live knowing that I have every opportunity available. I could live in freedom. Thank you, Lord, for Amendment 13, the abolishment of slavery. And for anybody out there in bondage and slavery to anything, just know Mm, just know that Christ Jesus also has your amendment. He has the day of your freedom from whatever that is. If you trust him, if you serve him, if you believe, ye shall also be set free. But what I wanted to share with you all, and I think I shared this last year, these bags, of course, they're shopping totes, but... The bag that Michaels had from last year, I actually used to create the cover for this journal here, which I plan on doing more of that. And that's how the, oh, this is the ribbon that Michaels had available last year too, that matched the shopping bag. Yeah, you can... You can get creative and use the bags in making journals and whatever else. Okay, that was it from Joanne's. I'm looking around to see. Yeah, you all, I think that was all for now for Joanne's. But I will be headed, as a matter of fact, I'm going to take a break right now and then check out the website to see if there's anything that I there missed. is another item I forgot to share at Michael's so this item or this segment here is going to be a little miscellaneous because I got a couple several items to share but anyway Michael's have this this year it's what is it called hmm well you get pom-poms the Chanel stems that's what I couldn't think of and you get wiggly eyes I love this collection. It's different from what was offered last year for Black History. Last year, it was about the traditional African flag colors. This year, you get the browns, which is my fave color. I will go back and pick up another pack of these because I'm a lover of brown. And you can use these all year. Can I open this? Come on, let's get this open. Yeah, I love these colors. So you have your, your camel. Look at those. Look at the oh, look at the glitter, the dark brown, and you have your camel brown colors, and then you have pom poms. Look at these luscious. Perfect for fall too, <laughs> which is my favorite season. But beautiful in different well skin tone colors, right? So these are to be used with, they have the foam die cut skin tone people shapes. I didn't get any of those, but look at, oh yes. And I think Michael's, they still have, they have their black history items 40% off. So these are definitely worth, at least to me, with these colors, picking up another pack. And the regular price, I think you can get these for two something on sale. So got that and love, love, love that. Now, one thing 
I wish I paid attention to maybe several years ago. Now, every year, I'm going to pay attention. Um, as I talked about in previous videos, I'm a kid again. Perhaps I've I'm, I've always been a Toys R Us kid. I'm a Toys R Us kid. There's a million things at Toys R Us that I can play with. With bikes and games and video games. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll sing that song, that tune for life, right? And did Toys R Us make a comeback? They closed down. Because back in the year, in the 80s and 90s, I think Toys R Us was around in the 80s. That was the place to go to if you were a child. You found everything at Toys R Us. And when I heard that they filed for bankruptcy a number, it seems like it wasn't too long ago. Maybe two, three years ago, if that. But then I read somewhere that they've made a comeback in certain states or cities, locations. But anyway... um. What I will, you know, I brought all that up to didn't even make my point, right? I'm in this type of spirit where, you know, I wish that my mom or my grand, well, my grandmother, she passed away almost two years ago and she was a hoarder. So I can find different treasures at her house. But what I'm doing is I'm putting together, I have this box and throughout the year, I'll purchase certain items to put inside this box for future grandchildren so they can have a piece of my present day which will be their history so they're not left out because I find myself looking for things of yesteryear and I wish how my grandma or my mom had this treasure trove this treasure box filled with things from their era that that I could now have today from their time. So I'm forward thinking. I'm doing what I wish someone in my family did for me. I'm doing it for my posterity. So the Black Panther. Now I wish I would have, these are Valentine's Day stickers, right? And I love stickers. Valentine's Day, we remember the the parties the kids still have today. But anyway, um, I wish I would have started to pick up the Valentine's Day stickers back when we had the first Black Panther. I'm assuming they had them back then and for other movies as well. So now I'm going to be on the lookout for Valentine's Day stickers and cards to pick up. And this one is in, uh, well, it's the new, the latest Black Panther, which my husband and I saw about a week ago for the first time. So I picked up two because I had to get one for myself. And then I'm going to add one in that treasure box. And maybe one day I'll share the items. Well, you know what? Truth be told, I kind of got stuff sporadically here and there. I need to find that special treasure box so I could put everything in the box. <laughs> for my uh, future grandchildren and how fun that would be lord willing when they're old enough and some they're not born yet but um when they get old enough to open it and appreciate it wouldn't that be something okay so got two of those and those came from walmart and then what a blessing to walk into stores and i shared this in a video before i think this one came from yeah home goods but you guys to walk into like home goods probably any any major store now you could walk in and find people of color on a on different things including coffee mugs and i there there were a lot available i chose this one cuz she seems to be older and i i love how older women are incorporated in some things that we can find but I love what it states too I am worthy of my dreams no matter how old you are you are worthy of your dreams so I I love this one I have yet to use it and then I'm also ecstatic about walking into a store and being able to find things that I use all the time like notepads right cards um, in a video about a month ago I shared African-American um, designed note cards that I picked up from home goods. We weren't able to, to shop like that. 
But to walk into a store and see representation concerning things that I actually use. And this is in craft too. And look at the beautiful women. You know, Marshalls. I probably only seen one of these because I would have picked up two because these can be used all year. And you know what? I'll give you guys a tip. I'm going to share a video. I've already incorporated this, but you can use these, you all, in your journaling and in your crafting. Yes, you can. You know what? I want to go out right now and go on a spree and hit up Marshalls and TJ Maxx and Home Goods and the, the, all the sister stores to find items like this because I love to use these in my journals. Okay. So that's for, these are my miscellaneous items. Now let me get to, oh, okay, I have one line to share before I get to my very special line. You guys stay put.